Alright, Shalom, my Kim. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Kudash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Mills home. I'd like to say Shalom to the elect that is teaching his word in all true faith and sincerity. And today, I just, just tied his lesson prophecy. What else could you really talk about? You know, this is the time that we're in. We're coming to the perfection of it. You know, it's just pretty much a few things left than the climax, which is the return of our Lord, Yahweh Shah. So, um, I got this um, from MSN, and it reads. The terrifying reality of just how close we really are to nuclear war. And that's prophecy. That's the terrifying reality. Prophecy is now settling in. It's settling in in the planet Earth. You got to come to the realization and acknowledge World War Three. And this is the, the, the real N word that you don't want to hear. You know? It says, it says, Rishi Sanak warned that the world is closer to a dangerous nuclear escalation than at any point since the, the Cuban Missile Crisis. And yeah, in the Cuban Missile Crisis, you know, they, hey, that was a, going to it, that was a very heated moment. We found out Russia had those missiles uh, lined up in Cuba, you know. Then America had one to move with eight missiles, and, you know. That was at the brink of, it was on the brink of war. But it wasn't the time. See, the arrows wasn't sharp enough yet. You know, these missiles had to come on the scene for everything to to be uh, perfect, so to speak. You know, now you got these hypersonic missiles and other nations have them. It wasn't the time back then. Now is the time. You know? And pretty much, I, you know, I ain't got to read the rest of that. The rest of the for real, because ultimately they're going to bring up the Russia-Ukraine situation, the, uh, Israel, you know, the Palestine situation. You know, everything else in between. But guess what? It's all prophecy. That's what's taking place on the planet Earth. You know? So, matter of fact, let's start out with this in the book of Mormon. That the book of Habakkuk. The book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, and verse 3, it reads For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. So it says, This vision is for an appointed time. And also, when you go into that word appointed, it goes into an appointed time as well as an appointed place. So, Babylon the Great, which is America, had to be established as well for everything to really happen. This is the value the Lord chose to show his power, man. You know? But that is, it, 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 was a, it was a point in time where these things would happen. You know? In, they say that, that that Cuban Missile Crisis took place. They was on the brink of war, but it wasn't. That wasn't the appointed time. But now at the end, it's speaking like now you see it. It's fully manifest. It said, "Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry." Yeah, because guess what? On that day of destruction, it's only going to take an hour. The Lord ain't going. 
it's not gonna be like in the time of the flood. It rain for forty days and night. No, the Lord is gonna get this judgment. He's gonna gonna get his. It's gonna be a swift judgment, man. When I say it's not gonna tear. <clears throat> it says, all right, so matter of fact, um, let's get something real quick. Because we are in that time of, of uh, prophecy, man. Let's get on uh, Isaiah the ninth chapter real quick. Isaiah chapter 9. Because uh, concerning World War Three, that's biblical. That's a biblical uh, event that has been prophesied really from the since the beginning because this this is a, associated with the return of our Lord Yahweh Shai. Matter of fact, before I get that, before I get this, let me get that get some real quick to Saint Matthew twenty four. And um, yep, verse 29 it reads immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken now, it says immediately after the tribulation so it shows you that this that that The order that these prophecies take place, you know, that that the time of tribulation have to come first, which we're coming close upon. You know, that persecution is being set up. Uh, you got this digital system. All that gonna coincide with it. It's gonna contribute to this time of tribulation. What it says after the immediately after that after that scene, the next scene is the sun and the moon being darkened which is discerning the destruction world war three it says and then shall appear the sign of the son of man in heaven see because that destruction you it is a balance the lord is going to bring forth deliverance so he's going to bring his that reward is with him there's going to be deliverance and destruction you know to get every man according to his work so especially here in America chiefly here you know this place right here Babylon the Great which is recorded in the scriptures you in this land on this land man either to be delivered or to be destroyed that's why we hope to be a part of that righteous number you know but it says and then shall appear the sign of the son of man in heaven and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn and they shall see the son of man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory 